हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू भोलानाथ एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन इन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट स्टैंडर्ड गिव्स एनर्जी स्टैंडर्ड गिव्स एनर्जी चेंज दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट डेल्टा जी ओके स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सिम्बॉल ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स स्टैंडर्ड स्टैंड फॉर जीरो चेंज स्टैंड फॉर डेल्टा एंड जी स्टैंड फॉर गिव्स एनर्जी वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट स्टैंडर्ड गिव्स एनर्जी चेंज एंड इक्लिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट ये द इक्लिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट वी आर टेकिंग एट ए कैपिटल के वट विल बी द स्टैंडर्ड गिव्स एनर्जी एंड इक्लिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट कैपिटल के एट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री फॉर द सेल रिएक्शन या द सेल रिएक्शन इज गिवन स्टूडेंट्स कैडमियम सॉलिड रिएक्ट विद स्टेनर्स टू प्लस एक्वर्स इट विल गिव यू कैडमियम टू प्लस एंड स्टेनर्स सॉलिड नाउ हियर स्टूडेंट्स वॉट एल्स इज गिवन स्टैंडर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉड पोटेंशियल ऑफ कैडमियम स्टैंडर्ड कैडमियम पोटेंशियल इज गिवन विच इज गिवन नेगेटिव स्टूडेंट्स माइनस 0.403 volt and standard stainless potential is given that is minus 0.136 volt. Okay, students, this is given to you. With the help of these students, you have to write the formula of the cell. So, students, what you have to calculate first, we will write. So, standard Gibbs energy that we are showing with capital G. Okay, students, change in Gibbs energy since it is standard. You have to find standard Gibbs energy. What will be the standard Gibbs energy? And equilibrium constant that we are showing with capital K. What will be the capital K? That is equilibrium constant. and you have to find the you have to write the formula of the cell here the cell reaction is given students you have to write the formula of the cell so students you have to calculate the formula formula of the cell what will be the formula of the cell okay students so since students you have to start since here if you want to write from the given students you have to write the formula of the cell since here students cadmium potential and the stainless potential is given okay students here minus 0136 volt this is greater than the minus 0.403 volt okay students so you can say students we can say stainless standard potential which is given minus 0.136 volt which is greater this value is what greater than the standard standard cadmium potential which is given minus 0.403 volt okay students From this given students, we are now going to write the formula of the cell first. Okay students, we will write the formula of the cell first. So what will be the first answer students? From first answer, we are writing the formula of the cell. Okay students, formula with the help of this given students, since here it is what the stainless potential is what greater than the cadmium potential. So what will be the formula of the cell students? So for finding for writing the formula of the cell students, you know this is this side, left hand side is always. anode potential which we are writing with minus and right hand side we are writing plus this is cathode potential whose potential is greater we will write at cathode potential and this potential is what less so we will write in at anode potential okay students so you can write students cadmium cadmium solid will in contact with cadmium 2 plus aqueous okay students potential is given to you students now with the help of the salt bridge students it is connected to stainless stainless 2 plus aqueous is in contact with what stainless solid okay students so electrode will migrate from anode potential to cathode potential understanding students so this is the formula of the cell with the help of this given students first answer i have given the formula of the cell now second students you have to calculate the standard gibbs energy standard change in gibbs energy students formula is minus number of moles into number of faradays into standard cell potential you have to calculate the standard cell potential number of moles of electrons you know students that is 2 mole but standard cell potential students with the help of the given students we will write since students again we are, we are we are knowing that standard cell potential is nothing but standard cathode potential minus standard anode potential okay students since you are knowing this at cathode students i have already told it is stainless potential that is standard stainless potential minus standard cadmium potential understanding students just put the value students here the stainless potential standard stainless potential is given that is minus 0.136 volt minus will be as it is standard cadmium potential is given students it is also given in negative minus 0.403 volt okay students now this minus into minus will becomes plus students so minus 0.136 volt plus 0.403 volt if you subtract the students it will come because it is bigger number so you will get plus 267 volt okay students so this way students we have calculated the standard cell potential okay students once you calculated the standard cell potential just put the value here students and you will get the standard gibbs energy now you also know value of n 
is nothing but two mole electrons. Change in standard Gibbs energy is nothing but minus n into f into e zero of the cell that is standard cell potential. Now just put the value strength that is minus two mole per into Faraday strength is nothing but ninety six thousand five hundred coulomb for one mole of electron. Okay, strength into now you have calculated strength. This standard cell potential is nothing but point two six seven volt. Okay, strength this mole will cancel with mole. Now you have got if you multiply strength minus two into ninety ninety six thousand five hundred into point two six seven and now strength coulomb into volt. Okay, students. Now you have to multiply these three quantities, students. How you will multiply, students? Two five two zeros are zero, two zeros are zero, two fives are ten, two six are twelve plus one that is thirteen, two nines eighteen plus one that is nineteen into point two six seven. Okay, students. Because here it is three three zero, students. We can remove the decimal. So this is nothing but minus one nine three, and this is coulomb and volt into Two sixty-seven. Okay, okay, students. This thousand. If you multiply this decimal, will come out, students. So you have to just multiply this. Again, students. This is coulomb volt. So this again with the help of the log table, students. We are going to do this. You have to consider as a y. Okay, students. With the help of the log table, y I have taken as a one ninety-three into two sixty-seven. This is three-digit multiplication, students. With the help of the log table, you have to take log on both the side. So log of y. Here it will be log of one ninety-three. Since it is multiplication, so you have to write plus if you take the log. So log of Two sixty-seven. Okay, students. What will be the mantis size? Students, here three digit. So three minus one will be two. Will be the characteristic students. Now in nineteen and third column, students. When you see in log table, students, you will find two eight five six plus will be as it is. What will be the characteristic students here? Yeah, how many digit? Three digit. Three digit minus one will be two. Now in twenty-six and seventh column, students. If you see in log table, you will find four two six five. Just students add these two numbers. Five plus six will be eleven. Five plus six, eleven plus. That will become twelve. Eight plus two, ten. One, two plus four, six, and seven. Now two plus two will be four. This is the value of log of y. So what will be the y students? This log will come on this side. Will becomes anti log. Anti log of four point seven one two one. Okay students. If you want to take the anti log students, anti log of zero point seven one two one, and this will be in the power of ten. That is ten is to four. Okay students. When you take the anti log of these students, if you take the anti log. In seventy one anti log table students two and add the mean difference of one you will get five one five three into ten is to four okay students now when the characteristic will be zero students when the decimal will be here report the characteristic students understanding this is the value of y students now this value of y you have to put so you will get delta g is nothing but students five minus five into one five three into ten is to four coulomb old okay students now when you multiply with ten is to four students What happens, students? This decimal will come out, so you will get five negative five one five three zero coulomb volt. This coulomb volt is nothing but students. This is called as we convert into joule. So negative of five one five three zero of joule. Now, if you want to convert into kilojoule, you have to divide this whole number by thousand students. So if you divide this, students, it will become fifty one point five three zero kilojoule. Okay, students. So this way, students, we have calculated the change in standard change in Gibbs energy. Students, third part, students. We are going to calculate the equilibrium constant. Since students, standard cell potential is equals to since this students you know this formula is equal to 0.0592 volt upon 2 into log of base ten of k capital K. This is the equilibrium constant that we are going to calculate. Okay, students. Now put the value students. Here the cell potential is standard cell potential is given students that is 0.267 volt, which is just you make it half students it will becomes zero. 0.096 volt into log of base ten of capital K. So what are, what is means since it is multiplication, so log of base ten of K means you have to divide this. Therefore, you means you can say log of base ten of capital K is nothing but 0.267 volt. You have to divide with 0.0296 volt. Okay, means if you divide it means now the, again this is the three digit decimal division means you have to consider this as a y. Now again with the help of the log table students, how you will do students? So you can consider this is the value of y that is 0.267. You have to divide with 0.0296. You have to take the log on both the sides students. So it will become log of y. So log of 0.267 minus log of 0.0296. Okay students, what will be the characteristic students? Before decimal students, one is there. One minus one. There is no, no number students. 
so zero minus one will be minus one. Okay, students. In twenty six seventh column in log table, students, you will find four two six five. Minus will be as it is, students. Now what will be the condition? After decimal, you have one zero, students. So minus one minus one will be minus two. That is point four. Now, students, in twenty nine and six column, students, you will find four seven one three. Okay, students. Now what happens, students? If you subtract, students, you will get. 0.9552. This is the value of log of y. Therefore, students, log of log of y is equal to 0.9552. So, what will the y y students? This will becomes anti log of 0.9552. Okay, students. Now, what will be the characteristics? Uh, now, in log anti log table, students, 95 phi and two mean difference. If you add, you will find students 9020. When the characteristic will be zero, students, when the here will be the decimal. This is the value of y students. Now, this y value students you have to put in the equation. Therefore, students, value of k will becomes anti log of y. The y value students you have got now. So students, it will becomes nine point zero two zero. Now, when you take the anti log of this students nine point zero two zero. So students, before decimal you have nine, it will become ten raised to nine into now students anti log of anti log of point zero two zero. We will take when you take the anti log students, you will find one zero. Four seven. Okay, students. Twenty in zero column. You will find this, and this is ten is to nine. When the characteristic will be zero, students. When the decimal will be here. Okay, students. This is more than five. It is seven. No, more than five. So we will take the round figure, students. So it will becomes one point zero five into ten is to nine. So this way, students. We have calculated the equilibrium constant, students. That is capital K. In examination, students. It will ask for three marks question. This way, students. You have to do in a board examination. It will be very important, students. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a nice day. God bless you.